Well, good morning, Get Rex for Recovery Crew. So it's day 46 of the Redeeming Eden Cycle Tour. R-E-C-T, Get Rex for Recovery. A bicycle trip up the Atlantic coast of America to raise awareness that there are addiction recovery options available, that you don't have to die in your addiction. There's churches, celebrate recoveries, and rescue missions all over the nation, all over the world, that just want to help you, talk to you, and love you if you find yourself battling addiction. So check out time was noon, so I checked out at noon. I'll drop my recovery stats here and how they're trending downward big time. Yeah, that blue line is the amount of strain that I've put on my body. And the yellow and red dots uh, now trending to red are the amount of rest and recovery that I'm getting. So I was just like, you know what? Nope, <laughs> I'm just gonna sit here for a little while. Uh, anyway, this is my route for the day that I'm looking at doing. It's 55 miles. There's a lot of woods. I'm actually kind of getting out into some really beautiful stuff. Uh, a lot of hills, too. But uh, as you can see, I can see these hills here in the background. This is Roslyn, downtown Roslyn on Main Street. Uh, and it is an old town. I think some of the buildings were from the 1600s. So. Anyway, got a lot of miles to do. Uh, I got to go 94 between today and tomorrow because that's when I need to catch the ferry tomorrow night. Uh, good news is, is that that last half of the day tomorrow looks pretty flat. Like I can even see it on satellite. It's a lot of farmland, a lot of flat land. So what I don't do today, I know I can make up for tomorrow. The wind is in my favor. Everything looks good. So uh, we'll definitely see how it goes. But. Either way, I gotta find some breakfast slash lunch and get on the road. Love you guys, see you later.
Wow, so Long Island is turning out to be a stunner today. It is the quintessential perfect spring day. Like, this is the perfect temperature. It's perfect. The wind is good, everything's good. Like, it's really nice. However, the hills have been huge. Uh, I'm at 845 feet of climbing. I'm 27.34 miles in at an average of 6.9 miles an hour. I know that I was going 15 on every straight that I was on because of the wind. But other than that, it's just been like long, slow uphills and then coast downhills. Long, slow uphills, coast downhills. It's kind of like Missouri again, but this is totally different. Like I came through a section there where Beth Page, Beth Page Black uh, and State Park is that was just ridiculously nice super big houses uh, just stunning it's been a stunning day that's really the best way I can put you know the best words I can put to it it has been stunning uh, which is so nice um, after you know the last few days of just buildings and everything it's nice to be back in nature uh, anyway I'm going up here to Dunkin Donuts it's the only thing that I see that's even remotely like food for a while so I'm going to go ahead and eat dinner at Dunkin' and then go as far as I can. It's 4.30, so I don't really know how far that's going to be. I don't think I'm going to make it. Like I said, I had a you know fail-safe tomorrow's flat. Uh, I'm hoping I'll get 40, you know, somewhere in there. And that would leave me with like a 54-mile day tomorrow on flatter ground. Same wind, same temp, everything looks good. A uh, young man that's down here fishing actually came over while I was laying here and uh, offered me a hammock. And I was like, thank you so much. He said his dad's a pastor. Uh, I just kind of shared my testimony with him and shared my sticker with him. Uh, and it was cool. It was definitely cool. I, it's the first time somebody's offered me, like, you know, personal needs out here on the road. It's, uh, you know, I've had a lot of people send me things and offer food, offer money, those kind of things, but nobody's ever wanted to give me like a tent or a hammock or anything, so that's, that was really cool. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to go get some food, and you'll see more of that right about now.
All right, so I just got in here to the America's Best Value Inn in Port Jefferson. Man, what a day. <laughs> I looked at so many different places to stealth camp. Like, from the satellite, the, the route that I was taking, um, on that Greenway Trail, there was this perfect spot when I rolled up to that. It was almost like a city of people that were living there. So I was like, well, that's not good. <laughs> Uh, got to the end of it, the next spot, and I was like, okay, this, this one will be good. Look over to the left, and there's four homeless guys living in the woods, which is totally cool. I just don't like to go to sleep, you know, with my things. Uh, you know, it's just, it's, I, I don't have good rest. Uh, and it's not something I've ever had to do before. I always like to be as safe as I can. Uh, so I found this place. I also looked up the Pine Barrens Forest, which is another six or seven miles. It's 7.55 now. Um, so it was like another five or six miles that would have put me riding a little after dark. But when I looked at it on satellite, there's like this group of a tent and some black vehicles and all kinds of stuff there. And so I was like, I just don't know the area. Like, I don't know if this is high gang or high anything. And so uh, I had a very good friend, thank God, last night um, that sent me a Venmo for the Hilton, which ended up being about the same price that this is. Uh, so crazy. It was actually one nineteen for this room, and the uh, guy at the counter, super cool guy, Mr. AJ from India. Uh, he was like, oh, I, will, I will charge you only $101. Uh, I love what you're doing, you know. Um, he even said that Jesus died for us and that... Um, you know, he, he did that for others, and he said, so giving your life for others is a wonderful thing. He said he would subscribe and help out however he could, so uh, that was a cool little moment, um, speaking with him at the counter. But yeah, uh, I've got 40 miles, 40.70 miles today, and it was rough. Like, I don't know what my, my average speed is. Um, it, it couldn't have been fast. <laughs> like, uh, it was just, I was doing 15 miles an hour through the cities flat sections, but the rest of it was just so hilly. Good news is I come out of that tomorrow. I've got about 10, maybe 15 more miles of hills in the morning. Uh, and it's a 54 mile ride total, mostly flat for the rest of the way to Orient Point where I'll catch a ferry, hopefully the 3 p.m. ferry over to New London, Connecticut. So cool. Uh, Eben Corbier is going to meet me there in New London. Uh, I think he's, I don't know how we're, we've, we've looked at so many different things. I think there's maybe a bridge I can't bicycle over or something, or we found a bike path. Either way, we're going to figure it out. He's going to ride with me, uh, as far as he, as far as he can. He's got some things that he's got to do, uh, with picking up his wife in Virginia and his daughter's going to about to have a bike tour and she's getting married. So like a lot of things are going on. Uh, but he said he hasn't, I don't think he's got 10 miles in Rhode Island yet. So he's you know, pondered possibly riding five miles into Rhode Island and then uh, five miles back. I'll be staying the night in Connecticut tomorrow night. Uh, and so, like, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how it all works. But I've got to get there first. And to do that, I've got to end this video and cut it, edit it, get it out, and get going on the night. Uh, so if you know anybody who's passed away from addiction in any form or fashion, please drop their name in the comments or find me through the pop -a link in the description. And I would love to ride for your person and celebrate their life with you for a day. Uh, if you know anybody who's actively addicted, share this with them. I don't want to see anybody else die from addiction. I know you don't either. Let's use Redeeming Eden as a tool that we might save a life. Uh, this is the React Tour, R-E-A-C-C-T, Redeeming Eden Atlantic Coast Cycle Tour. And I need you to react. I need you to like the videos on YouTube, comment on YouTube, share the videos on your social media profiles, subscribe to the YouTube channel. All those things will go a long way in helping build Redeeming Eden, the Garden Rehab. Don't forget, Redeeming Eden's a nonprofit ministry through International Gospel Outreach. I'll leave a link to them in the description. You can go there. You can find out more about Redeeming Eden and about the Cody Jordan Forever Funeral Fund. Or you can go back and watch the day one video from this series, The React Tour. From here in Port Jefferson, New York, the America's best value in. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. I'll see you later. Have a good night.